Hi, welcome to the next assembly video for the Ergodox. In this video, it's uh, time to install the switches, the Cherry MX switches. I'm going to start with the right hand side. And so the first step is to take the center um, case component and actually place it on top of the PCB. And it's important to make sure that it, it lays flat. And I notice I kind of have to press it around these um, jacks here in order to get it to lay flat, but that looks pretty good. It's um, flat all the way around. Okay, and then the keys go on the top. And the keys, um, have three plastic guide guide pins, a large one in the center, two on the left and um, on the outer sides, and then it has the two metal connector pins. And the two metal connector pins, um, for the most part, are going to go up on the top side of the board, except for um, over here with a couple of these keys where it's actually going to be on the left side and these two. So, um, for the right hand side anyway. Okay, and then they just uh, press in. And I'm going to flip this over and make sure that the pins are lined up. And I can see as I'm pressing it, I can see that um, there's a pin. It looks like it's coming through right here and right here. And then the plastic pin comes through there and the plastic pin comes through there. And then there's the center, larger plastic pin in the center. And um, they look like they're lined up. Okay, yeah. All right. And I can I can tell now that they're coming all the way through because um, they're they're coming out about a couple of millimeters off off the bottom of the board here. Okay. And, um, and then they just need to be soldered together. Um, this, um, these three keys here actually take LEDs. And let me go ahead and push these other keys in. Oh, I can see this one has a bent pin, so I'm just going to bend that back. And this one will actually be facing, the metal pins will be facing in this direction. So you can see the pins on the board there. Let's flip it around, make sure that they're lined up. Yep, those came through good. I'm going to go and do the third one here. This one also is going, the up is on this side, on the left side, so the metal pins need to face that direction. Just flip it around, make sure that the pins came through okay. Yep, they look good. Okay, so I have those three in place. Now, these are the three that um, have an LED, and um, now, just so you can see, um, <clears throat> So this board is, you know, the same same side as this one. The you have the round um, through holes, and then the square through holes um, here. So square, round, square, and round. You can see they're labeled LED. So um, these will actually get connected here, and um, the longer lead on the LED needs to go to the square side. So it's going to go in like that. And there's slots in the Cherry MX keys where they can go through like that. So, um, yep, you can see square and round. And they'd be soldered right here. Um, and so there's three of them. One goes there. And then, so the long one would be on the top side in this case. One would go here, and then another one would go here. I'm not going to install the LEDs for now, though. 
because I want to see if it'll work without them and I'm not sure what I want to do with LEDs yet because I might I might do um, some different colors or something. I want to see how the LEDs behave too so I'm not really quite sure what I want to do with those yet. Alright so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, plug the rest of these in. Just pay attention to uh, what side is the top side and bottom side. Some reason. There we go. Wait, I'm still not going all the way in. No, oh, well, it's just not laying flat actually. It is going all the way in. No, I'll worry about it later. Good idea to check these two and make sure the pins aren't aren't bent. This one especially is actually very uh, thin, so it's easy to bend. I also noticed that um, this particular part that I printed didn't didn't really turn out with perfect dimensions. Um, it's very very close, and I actually printed one and I measured it, and then I calibrated my printer so that I could print it again and have it uh, be much closer. But one thing I didn't do was the the feed rate was a little bit off, so it didn't um, so the amount of plastic that was deposited wasn't uh, calibrated correctly. So I think it's part of the reason why I'm having difficulty pushing some of these in. I imagine if you went with like a Lexan case or something like that, that uh, it'd probably fit a lot, e a lot nicer. Not that there's anything wrong with the 3D printed version though. Because I'm confident that this will turn out perfect. Well, not perfect, but perfect enough. Nothing's really perfect. Slot seems a little small for some reason. Here we go. Well, a lot of these um, actually pop in really easily. Actually, like these last several here feel like they fit perfect. I mean, nice, uh, had a nice bit of feedback and went right in. Something in here. 
think it might just be a piece of dust or something. But. Okay, over here it looks like there's um, a few that go up. This one goes up. And this one. These two here go left. And then those last two go up. Alright, now I'm just going to make sure that they're all laying flat. The PCB is still flat. Pretty good. This one is at lane. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. So it's going to make sure that all the keys are laying flat and they're in there really good. Some of these, like this one, it'll press down, but then it, it pops up a little bit. But I think I think if I were to just to go ahead and solder all these right now, I think it'd be perfectly fine. I think I'm just being a little um, bit of a perfectionist here. But I am going to try to save that one. Um, I think it's the only one. The rest of them look really, really good. Yeah. Just that one in the center at the top looks like it could maybe use a little bit of calibration when I um, go to solder it. I'll try to push it down. So I'll save that one for last, but all right, that should be good. Time to solder. So about 13 minutes, I guess, to get all those pressed in. Oh, oops, that one's the center one. Okay. Look at that center one again. Maybe I could just go ahead and take care of it right now. I'm just going to try pushing on it while I solder it. that'll make any difference. Although I don't think it's really that vital. But anyway. Cool. This is really coming together nicely.
So these two would be where you would have the extra leads coming through for the LEDs. If you decided to do that. I might come back later and add those. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to do maybe like get some red LEDs or something. Um, I was also thinking about maybe experimenting with uh, LEDs with different lumen ratings because I thought it would be nice if it was um, really low lumen LED and so I'm not really quite sure what I want to do with those yet. Plus I think maybe I saw somebody do a, um, a mod to one of these where they did like a backlight so I kind of wanted to look into that too. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. All right, that wasn't too bad. That only took about four minutes, so pretty quick. I'm just gonna take a look at them real quick and make sure they're soldered well. And that one could use a little bit more solder there. Okay. Looks pretty good. Cool. All right, I'd say the right hand side is done. And I'm going to um, save the left hand side for the next video. It'll essentially be the same thing, just the reversed order. And uh, from what I understand, the left side does not have any LEDs, they only go on the right side. So that should be it. Thanks for watching, and um, um, I guess we'll uh, get more done in the next video.